Howdy, folks. Good to see you, Brody. Your uh, <laughs> comment was an amazing first one to see. Oh, how we doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, it was kind of... Hey, what's up, Happy Math? Good to see you. Um, it was kind of a long day um, for me back at work, but um, it was good. Happy, happy to be home. I did a lot of cooking. Um, my wife uh, has to work a different thing tonight so I was doing a lot of like home making stuff while she was gone um, but to get us back into our playthrough here last time we spoke we entered the Hall of Fame we defeated the Pokemon League and now we got our ticket to get on the boat to head over to Kanto proper not just the Indigo Plateau very excited about that um, oh excuse me um, so, we're into the post-game section of Pokemon Crystal, and this is where the Generation 2 games, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, are kind of still like the gold standard for the franchise. Welcome to the Fast Ship SS Aqua, um, because the SS Anne was Generation 1, this is the SS Aqua. Um, but yes, Generation 2 is kind of the gold standard, um because you have this second region um, to explore after you defeat the Pokemon League, which is super, super cool. So now we have this sick looking boat. You know this thing's moving. Oh, great theme. Huh. Whoa, excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. Oh no, she's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Um, so, um, <laughs> oh, thanks so much, Happy Map. I appreciate that. Uh, don't feel the need to stay up too late. My my sleep's very important to me as a as a as an aging person. Um, but thanks for stopping in. That's really sweet of you. So here we are on the SS Aqua. Um, we have our cabin here. You can take a nap in this little bed. Heal your squad if you need, which is really nice. You don't have to leave. Um, because you can't. In Generation 1, you could leave the SSN if you were hurting. Um, ooh, is there anything in here? Ah, there's nothing in here. Wow, that answers my question, huh? Um, so, yes, in Generation 1, you could leave the boat um, to go back and heal your, heal your squad. But here, you're actually, like, traveling somewhere. Um, in Generation 1, you're just at, like, a fancy party on the ship, technically. Hello, Loctess. Good to see you today. Um, so this is not a good matchup for Margo. So we're going to go into Pampras. Pampras, of course, was our ace in the hole against Dragon Master Lance with that powerful ice beam. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to show what Kanto has to offer um, you all. Um... Like I said, we are in the... I'll just stay in here. This will be a quick one-shot here with Pampers. We are in the post-game section. Um, but like I said, there is still a lot for us to do. So uh, the playthrough is alive and well, at least for a few more streams. Um, and there's definitely some more things in Johto that's like kind of optional side quest kind of stuff um, that I want to show off because, again, we have to see my favorite Pokemon of all time. And he is locked away in the post game in this game. Um, what does mom have to say? Ah, she's still buying items with our money. I feel like she hasn't done that in a while. Um, but, oh yes, you will probably notice um, as we fight some trainers here in Kanto. Um, is there anything over here? Oh, there is. Lovely. A few little cabins. Um,. As you'll notice, when we fight these trainers here, their levels aren't super high. Um, I'm gonna see if Margo can just get rolling out and just take out this guy. Oh no. We should eat this. Come on, we eat that. Oh, we devour that. More like it. Um, but as I was saying, um, a lot of these trainers, their levels aren't super high. Margo's rollout strats are just not doing it right now. 
and it's making me sad. We gotta get that accuracy up. Um, but yeah, sorry, <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. The trainer's levels are pretty low, and that is another big criticism of this game specifically, is that there's a lot of level curve stuff, which you've heard me talk about that before, but here specifically in the post game, and that's a brutal self-destruct. Eat it! Yes! Margo's back to her winning ways. Um, but, yeah, once you get into Kanto, there really isn't that much experience left in the game. Um, and you just saw me heal on my bed there. I came in handy. With both of those coughings exploding in my face. Um, yeah, and there's just a few trainers here on the SS Aqua. The SS Aqua is a lot smaller than its uh, SSAM counterpart. Um, because, again, if you joined us... If you are a new Pokemon player, you've never played Pokemon before, and you've joined us from the Yellow playthrough, um, you'll find that a lot of the stuff in Kanto is just not as... Um, just not as fleshed out, just because of the kind of hardware limitations they had with the Game Boy Color. Um, um, <laughs> Brody says, it's not your bed. You've clearly broken into someone's room. You might be right. That's kind of funny. Um, oh, Teddy Urs is a great Pokemon. I don't think we've seen one yet. Um, I might be wrong, but it's super cute, super wonderful. Um, you can find it in Dark Cave. If you recall, we found Dunsparce in Dark Cave um, by Violet City at the very beginning of the game. But there is another side of Dark Cave where you can find a Teddy Ursa, and that side of Dark Cave is over by Blackthorn City, which is super neat. And that's where you find Teddy Ursa. Um, and Teddy Ursa evolves into the mighty Ursa Ring which I highly recommend you catch that Teddy Ursa in your own playthrough when you play this game. Um, ba -ba -da. They have those two cute little, little fampy little Teddy Ursa. Two cute little girls have the cute little Pokemon. How cute. Um, all right, so here, this is that guy. He says, oh, I still can't find my granddaughter. Oh, no. Um, let's see. <laughs> Does Teddy need some honey? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> And this guy, he just blocks you. You can't get by him. It's not possible. Hey, kid. Could I get you to look for my buddy? He's goofing off somewhere, that lazy bum. I want to go find him, but I'm on duty right now. Yeah, of course you are on duty. You're blocking my way. This place is off limits to civilians. Um, so we gotta just, uh... <laughs> just block someone randomly, it's true. So we gotta go find his buddy. And his buddy is here. He wasn't in this room earlier. He shows up after you uh, talk to that guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a sailor, all right. I wasn't goofing off. This cabin was vacant, so I just took a quick nap. Ah, forget it. Let's battle. It sounds like this guy was goofing off. So this guy, I mean, he's... he's uh... He's your run-of-the-mill sailor here. He's uh, He's got some chops. I don't know if he has a water Pokemon or not. We should be able to just... Yes, he does have a water Pokemon. Speak of the devil. Um, we should be able to dispatch of him pretty quickly, because, again, as you can see, that level 26, not great. Um, <laughs> a 10-year-old doing everything. Just a classic day in Pokemon. That is so true. Um, when you really inspect the premise of these games, it's, it's kind of insane, but, you know, we're all having fun with it. Um, I'm gonna use Tech here with a nice matchup. Um, but, as I was just criticizing the, uh, kind of experience and level gaps that you will see in Kanto, um, not every trainer is really underleveled. Um... We won't have a ton of experience to work with, but we have some tough fights ahead. I'm excited. Being a sailor, I have to do physical labor. It's exhausting. I get it. I get it, man. That humanizes the, the slacker a little bit. He's been working hard. Give him a break. 
All right, so now that we have found that dude's friend, thanks kid, I chewed him out good, so he'll quit slacking off. A little girl? Ah, I may have seen her go by here. Very cool, I actually didn't know he told you that. Um, oh, this is great. Um, after we fight this guy, um, there's a great bit here, at least if I'm remembering correctly. Um, this is one shot. Oh yeah. Rupert's gonna be, uh, destroying these psychic- oh. Oh, this is fine. Not a good matchup for us, but we do have Earthquake on Heracross. I kind of forgot about that. Hmm. Also, fun fact about that Sailor fight. Um, your team automatically heals after it. I don't know why, but it does. Um. Let's see. It's not like he's difficult. Machoke. We won't mess around. We'll just go into Lucius and just knock this out in one side beam. There we go. Um, and, you know, as we go through the post game, you'll kind of see me run through some of these trainers a lot. Um, we can probably speed through a little of them for, a f for some of them, sorry. So this guy goes, no more ships for me. Next time I'm taking the magnet train. He just said he was seasick. So <laughs> when you look in this trash can... Ah! Oh, I thought it said something. Oh, no! No, is that Gen 1? That's Gen 1. Oh, I already did that in yellow. Um, <laughs> um, yes, I was actually mistaken. In Generation 1, on the SS Anne, the captain is sick. And when you look into the trash can, the player goes, Yuck, I shouldn't have looked! Because he was puking in there. I thought it happened here. I'm a buffoon. I'm a fool. I feel like I've done that a few times in this game. I've kind of mixed up some Gen 1 and 2 stuff. Even though this is my favorite game. Who am I? Alright, we got Sailor Jeff. Oh yeah, perfect level for someone getting ready to battle a third gym. I mean, pretty much. Uh, let's... Yeah, Rock Smash is interesting. Um... Because it's really the only fighting move that Heracross has access to, at least for the first part of the game. Um, he will be able to learn another um, fighting type move that we're going to have access to. I'm still deliberating what I want to get rid of for it, though. I don't really know. Not a very good move by Eradicate there with Pursuit. Um, yeah, because when, uh, when I was figuring out what TMs to teach what Pokemon, I like really couldn't decide um, on Heracross's moveset specifically. Um, so here, I'm going to go back into Margo, get her hopefully another easy level of two or two. And also for some reason we just have this, this lady, she's bored, and she's just like, why am I in kind of like the below off-limits section of the ship? I don't know. She's just hanging out. She's bored. She's exploring. Thank the Lord. I am so glad that missed. I hate when Super... I feel like Supersonic hits me all the time. It has like a 55% chance of hitting. It is not accurate. Um, absolutely, Brody. You are ahead of me. Um, Heracross does get a move called Reversal at level 44. Um, and it's a move that does more power, more damage, the less... Um, HP you have, which is really interesting. So here when we go down this stairway, we have the captain's quarters here. Captain, play with me, please. I'm bored. I want to play more. So this uh, annoying little girl is trying to bug the captain. But then she's just like, oh, Grandpa's worried about me. I don't want him to be. So then we're able to reunite the family. It's lovely. She was playing with the captain and this guy. Oh, this guy actually gives you a really cool item. Um... I want to thank you for that. I know, I'd like you to have this. We get the metal coat here from our uh, elderly friend. Um, the metal coat is a really cool item. Ooh. And once you complete that little quest on the boat, you arrive in Vermilion City. Um, but the, <laughs> no, I will not play with you, child. That's a great answer, Brody. <laughs> um, so when the metal coat, the Metal Coat is a move that boosts Steel-type moves, so we might use that. But also, it is a move that if you trade a Scyther with it, or you trade a uh, Onyx with it, 
that is how they evolve into Scizor and Steelix, which is really cool, but it's also kind of annoying because it's the only way you can get those Pokemon. And the only guaranteed Metal Coat you get in the game is this one, which is technically in the postgame. So, we have arrived... Ooh, this music. Oh, baby. The Vermilion City theme in this game specifically is just chef's kiss. Gosh, it's so good. Um, so now we hop out of here, just like before. And here we are. It's Vermilion City, baby. That's where Officer Jenny was. There's the gym. The fan club. We're actually going to hop in here. Uh, because this guy, he's still talking about his, still talking about his Rapidash. Um, and this was always interesting. You think so? Too much. Wild. Beautiful. Kindly. Love it. Hug it when sleeping. <laughs> Hug it when sleeping. Uh, warm and cuddly. Oh, and spectacular. Ravishing. Simply divine. Um, so when you talk to him in Gen 1, um, he gives you the bike voucher so you can get a bike. But in this game, he just gives you rare candy, which is great. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Um, Brody's talking about, uh, in this game, one of the reasons I didn't do any trade evolution Pokemon in this game is because you can't trade on an emulator, which is the way that I'm playing the game. Um, and a lot of, if you encounter some ROM hacks, they will have ways like workarounds with this. Um making, like, the trade evolution items more like evolution stones, function more like evolution stones, um, and things like that. Um, but I just kind of avoided the trade evolution Pokemon for this playthrough just because of the way I'm playing it. Um, but Brody was saying that, like, you can, you know, hack these ROMs, like, kind of what I was saying, but, you know. Um, so if you want to play on an emulator like this, you'll have to, f uh, find a, uh, what's the word? Resourceful way to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Resourceful way to get those trade evolution Pokemon, because Scizor is one of my favorites. I love Scizor. So, um, like I said, here we are in Vermilion City. Um, this is really exciting. I am, I don't have Cut anymore. So I can just surf like that, easy peasy. I feel like it took me a long time to realize that. There's a, there's a full heal here, how about that? I thought there was. So here, the gym is still open. Um, so we still got some trainers in here. Um, and, oh. Oh. Uh, you get a revamped trainer theme here for Kanto, specifically, and it's so great, I love it! Um, but as I was saying, the- oh, he's gonna try to roll out. The gym is still open, and Lieutenant Surge is still the gym leader here. So, one reason Gen 2 is so beloved by me and others, you get to fight all of the Kanto gym leaders. It's so cool. It's so awesome. Um, their levels are a little higher. They're more, like, on par with where we are right now, which is awesome. I love it. Um, I said that already, but I don't care. I mean it twice. Um, I love that this, uh, Electrode's trying to roll out on us, because it's not going to be able to build him up. There we go. Quick claw, baby! But, yes, you can fight all the gym leaders in Kanto. Um, and you actually can collect 16 badges. Um, which is eight more than most Pokemon games. Um, oh, <laughs> sorry, Brody. <laughs> Just keep going. See how many, see how long you can go. Um, awesome. Still got Margo putting in work here. Hitting level 42. Love to see it. Oh, let's see. Another Electrode. We'll just stay in. Keep doing what we're doing. And 
Yes, so, um, are there any new gym leaders in Kanto? Um, ooh, yes, there are actually a few surprises um, with the gym leaders in Kanto. I know many of uh, the people watching this will know it already, but, you know, in ten years or <laughs> whenever when someone stumbles upon this playthrough on the internet and they're just like, I like old Pokemon games, I've never heard of these before, I'll, uh, they'll be so surprised. Um, when a couple gym leader surprises show up. You ha ah, lock test, thank you. You have no clue about it. Well, you're about to learn. I won't give it away yet, because I want us to get there. Sorry, I just burped. I always be burping. I'm always drinking my seltzer. Oh, I love seltzer water. I know that there is like a legion of, you know, early 30s folks like me that are just so into LaCroix and the like. And I am one of those 30-somethings. Um, so that guy had a Pikachu. He's also got a Flaffy. Oh, This is... Uh, we met Ampharos, actually, at the lighthouse in Olivine City. Flaffy is the form before Ampharos. And it is so adorable. Again, when we... Uh, when we go into the remake of Gen 2 eventually on this channel, we're using a Mareep. That is written in permanent marker. Um, very excited to do that, actually. Oh, yes, sorry, I forgot that uh, this guy was sitting here also. Uh, Magnemite, perfect matchup for our boy Sinaiquil. Oh, but he's already at 42, so... Ah, yes, Tech, we are on to the boss rush. I was just explaining how we can fight all of the Gym leaders in Kanto here. Um, Voltorb. Let's see what Tech can do. I actually don't know if, if this Voltorb knows an electric move. One critical hit swift, that'll do. Um, Magnemite. Bad matchup for Tech again, so. Um, I will go into Rupert. Uh, Rupert's probably gonna clean up at this gym with Earthquake. Um,. Flaffy, oh my Arceus, I love Fluffy Flaffy. Who doesn't, Brody? Who freaking doesn't? It's so wonderful. Um, I'll just stand. Knock it out with an earthquake. You'll probably see me try to consider spreading out my experience. Um, so here, you don't have to do the stupid puzzle where you look into the trash cans in this gen, which I love. Um... But there's our boy, there's Lieutenant Surge. Um, one thing I might do... Uh, we're gonna start with Lucius. Like I said, I'll try to spread the experience around a little bit, but Earthquake on Heracross is probably gonna be the play a lot. So, here he is. Hey, you little tyke! I have to hand it to you. I may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. Ooh. Oh! Wow. Wow, I've done a lot of music dances in this playthrough. There's fire music everywhere, but the Kanto Gym Leader theme is sick. It's so good. Um, but yeah, I also did like three different accents for Lieutenant Surge there, sorry. <laughs> um, and this is his trademark Raichu. Raichu's kind of chunky here. You'll love to see it. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a flinch. No. Oh, boy! Lucius has some pretty high special. Please don't kill me in one hit. There we go. Oh, no! That's terrible. I don't think a quick attack will do it. Dang it. I hate that. Uh, I'm gonna swap into Margo. There we go! Good work! Great dodging, Margo. You're so nimble. When I look at a Dunsparce, I think nimble. Um, Lucius is trying to learn Psych Up. Oh, yeah, I don't really. Psych Up is kind of like a... It's an interesting move, because what it does is, like, 
if your opponent like raises their stats, for example, you can copy that stat change. Um, it's just not a move that's going to come up a lot. Um, Electrode. So here is where I might start getting into the Earthquake action. Sorry, I missed some comments. Um, <laughs> ah, yes, the Great War, where everyone fainted instead of dying. <laughs> it's true. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Game Freak was like, what if the puzzle for the first gen was a guessing game? It's so true. The, the trash can puzzle for Lieutenant Surge's gym is not, not, a, not a great one. Um, oh, yes, technically the, the third gym in Gen 1. That's true. So our, uh, our Earthquake was able to one-shot his Electrode. I think he has two. Ooh, Electabuzz. This is kind of like his ace in the hole. Oof. Uh, we haven't really seen many of these. There was one guy who had one up by Blackthorn City. I love that sprite. Ooh. Electabuzz is a Pokemon. Ooh, one shot, baby. Mm. I knew I taught Earthquake to the right person. <laughs> Gen 1 and Fen 1, that's true. Um, but uh, Electabuzz is a Pokemon that got an evolution in Generation 4. Um, in Generation 4, they gave evolutions to a lot of existing Pokemon. And Electabuzz was one of the ones that I just, I just didn't think, I just didn't think needed it, you know? I thought it was pretty complete as an idea. Um... Oh my gosh! Hello, Babs! Good to see you! I'm finally, I'm glad you could finally catch one too. You're trying to catch a shiny Lugia and Crystal. That's amazing. Um... I have a just a regular Lugia right here. Uh, let's see, Magneton. Yes, I will let uh, I'll let Sinaiqil pick up the kill here. Um. So, Lieutenant Surge here is the first gym leader that you catch in Kanto, and he, if you have the right move set to challenge him, he can be pretty pretty simple, just like that. Arg, you are strong. Okay, kid, you get Thunderbat, Thunderbatch. It's kind of what, like what he sounds like in the anime. Uh, give him a Thunderbolt. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wear it proudly, you hear? Hey, kid, still slugging and chugging away? My Pokemon and I are still at it. Oh, thanks, Lieutenant Surge. He's a, he's a nice guy. He's kind of brash, but he, he's, a, he's a nice fella. Um, all right. So one thing I do want to show you. Um, we can pop over here. I forget what this guy says. Skilled trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. Yes. So if you look here, there's another uh, familiar rotund face. Snorlax is snoring peacefully. Um, so we have a Snorlax here. We will need to get by him, but we can't yet. Can't quite yet. <laughs> Brody's like, I'm always slugging and chugging. <laughs> Is that a euphemism for something, Lieutenant Surge? I hope not. Um, alright, so we'll heal the squad up. Um, so since we can't go that way, um, we are gonna make our way north. Um we might be able, we'll probably be able to get another gym leader in tonight. Um, I still want to fight some of these trainers out here. This guy just said that his Fampy is the cutest in the world. I don't know about that, man. There are a lot of Fampy out there, and they're all pretty cute. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, regarding the shiny Lugia tech, <laughs> I can't even imagine. Um, uh, how, how many attempts are you in, Babs? If you are counting. Um, let's see. My Vampy! <laughs> we killed it. Uh, oh, Mom is just buying stuff. She got us a doll. Oh, I need to show you guys that, too. Ah, uh, his Teddy Ursa is the cutest in the world. See, these two guys are just, uh, they're just showing off some of their their favorite cute little Pokemon to each other. It's just an adorable little uh, little male friendship. Do not paralyze me. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, good. 
Um, Lick is not a very strong move, but it can paralyze you. Okay, it did not. Got kind of lucky with that, actually. It's actually a pretty high percentage to paralyze you. And that's kind of like the trade-off for it being a weak move. <laughs> My Teddy Ursa! We just blew right through those guys. I don't think there are any other trainers right here. Um, in Generation 1, you have to go through the Underground Path. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Um, oh, yes. There is an issue at the power plant. So you talk to that guy, um, and he alludes to an issue at the power plant. Um, and here we are in Saffron City. Um, this guy gives you the TM for Psychic, just like he does in the first game, which is really good. Um, that is a move that we will be teaching to Espeon. Um, but I don't know when Espeon learns the move naturally. I might just let it learn the move naturally and just not worry about it. But if we get to kind of like the final fights of the game and it still hasn't learned it, we'll, we'll go ahead and teach it the TM. Because um, Psybeam is going to be just fine for our purposes. Okay, Babs, so you're playing on a Game Boy Color. Ooh, absolutely. Awesome. You haven't been keeping count, but you're definitely hours and hours. <laughs> yes, so um, what Babs is describing is um, shiny hunting, which when you're going for a legendary Pokemon, really all you can do is where there's only one encounter in the game, like with Lugia. Um, uh, we're not going to go there yet. There's a lot of trainers over there. Oh, this is cool. I want to show you this. Um... You just have to keep resetting and resetting and resetting until the Pokemon is shiny. It's very, very long and hard to do. Um, let's keep, let's see. Oh, Brody, it learns it at 47. Awesome. Oh yeah, we'll learn. We'll learn Psy Psychic naturally. Uh, that's great. Um, I don't know why I'm saving here. We're not going to catch any of these Pokemon, but this patch of grass is very um, important. Uh. Yes, there it is. Um, this is the spot in the game where you find Houndour. Um, it is only at night, and it is only after you defeated the champion, and it's at level 18. Which is just like, oh yes, Tech, I forgot that you loved, I forgot that you loved Houndoom. Um, so this is like the poster child for like generation two, uh, what's the word? Criticism is that you can't catch Houndour into the post-game. And honestly, I completely agree. You should be able to catch it so much earlier so you can actually use it on a playthrough. Um, like, come on, man. What were they thinking with that one? And also, I believe... Oh, nice Abra. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm just gonna run around here. Yep, this is where you find Murkrow as well. So two of Karen's Pokemon are from Kanto, technically. Um, which I suppose the Indigo Plateau is technically in Kanto. Oh, yeah, I mean, Houndoom is really strong. Maybe that's what they were thinking. Maybe they were just, uh, balancing their own game, and I don't know what I'm talking about. But it would be more fun, though, right? Be able to use it. It's such a cool new Pokemon. Ah! Uh. Love the music here, too. Um, so... In the Generation 1 games, you... Uh, ba -ba -ba -da, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, you can get the Elemental Stones, the Water Stone, Fire Stone, and Leaf Stone, and Thunder Stone, <laughs> at the department store, but here you can't buy them. We've kind of talked about how the stones are way harder to come by in this game. Um... Yeah, it would be cool if Houndour was a rare spawn like Dunsparce. I completely agree. Here, this is a really interesting item. Because this is an item that the Snorlax is holding that we'll encounter later. But you can find another one here. The Leftovers. The Leftovers is a really great item. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to give it to Margo. Margo has the Quick Claw on, but I just want to do something different. Um, let's see... There we go. So what the Leftovers does, it is an incredible item. Um, we're not going to fight Erica right now. Um, I just wanted to kind of get the the fly spot in Celadon City. I want to go up here first. Um, 
because when we go up to uh, Cerulean City, that is where we're going to be able to start figuring out that um, power plant problem that they're talking about. And this is the magnet train. It's kind of like a kind of like a bullet train in Japan, kind of. Um, and it won't be running. It can take you back and forth to Johto and Kanto really fast, uh, which is really cool. But it won't be running again until we solve the problem at the power plant. And here we are in Cerulean City, which is sick. Um, Houndoom is the cutest doggy ever. I mean, you're not wrong. Um, but if we go into Misty's gym, no one's in here, which is interesting. We could find Lieutenant Surge, but she's not in here. So we have to get to the bottom of the power plant's problem first. So what we're gonna do, and believe it or not, we do actually need Cut to accomplish this. <laughs> so I'm gonna deposit Margo for now. And then we are going to bring my wife back into the fold Good to see you, baby. Um, because she is our cutting Pokemon. And you kind of head back over here, um, just like before. You, this We're going back to where the power plant was in Generation 1. And this is like a cool passage of time thing. Um, because in Generation 1, the power plant was all closed up and boarded up. And like, I shouldn't say boarded up. Um, abandoned um <laughs> man keeps his wife in a, in a pc it's true it's true i'm not the best husband in the world um and we have some trainers on the way here that we'll kind of blast through a little bit um but as i was saying i kind of like how the power plant in generation one is abandoned and it's where you find zapdos but in generation two sorry i just bit my cheek <laughs> in generation two uh where you have that passage of time, you actually get to see it up and functional again as an actual power plant. Well, <laughs> it's not functional right now, but it's our job as the uh, new 10-year-old in town to solve the energy crisis in the entire region. So, that's just what you do. And uh, these route themes are just great. This guy actually has a pretty cool squad, as I remember. <laughs> hey, don't litter! Dude, I, dude, I wasn't. I promise. He's got his Doug Trio. It's not going to be able to do much to our Skarmory, thankfully. Ah, oh, but it can do that. I would just love... I would just love if this didn't miss. I would love that. <laughs> so, um... I'm thinking we should have enough time to solve the energy crisis tonight. Um, we'll see. Polyrath, this would be a good matchup for tech, but unfortunately, we had that accuracy drop, so we're just gonna pop. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, nice. Uh, King's Rock flinch. We're just gonna pop, pop into Lucius. Um, <laughs> that's okay, Brody. I don't know all of it either, obviously. I would have to do the same. Um, He's got a Primeape as well, which is interesting. This guy has the same Pokemon as Chuck in uh, the Sea and Wood Gym, plus a Doug Trio. How about that? Maybe he should be the gym leader. Um, it is funny because his Pokemon are like the same level. Um, <laughs> I was just pointing out. Yeah, well, man, I am conscientious of the environment, okay? I already know what I do. Um, <laughs> tech is just like, you guys don't know what you're talking about. I'm an expert. Now, yeah, Serebii is usually my source, too. If I want to look up, like, movesets and stuff. A lot of times people use Bulbapedia, but I don't know why I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Serebii guy. Oh, here's Golduck trying to use Psych Up. I think that is the first time we've actually seen a Pokemon try to use it in our run-through here. Um, <laughs> super nerd right here. Hey, that's your trainer class. It's fine. Um, I wonder what my trainer class would be if I was, uh, an NPC. Probably a cool trainer. <laughs> no, not really. I'd probably be a super nerd, too. But I don't 
know. I'd have to think on that. There are a lot of trainer classes out there at this point. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. So we're just clearing these folks out as we make our way. Um, oh yeah, they don't have the super nerd anymore. Yeah, I guess uh, that could be considered, you know, just not the nicest name. <laughs> okay, Pampers, you, you good, you good, you're eating that. Uh, eating good in the neighborhood, yeah. A lot of times you just get into these rock Pokemon and it is just easy peasy one, two, three. I'm gonna use Ice Beam this time, just for fun. Uh, let's see. Pokemon Database is the best, says Brody. Oh, okay. The the great uh, Pokemon Resource Wars of 2024. It's a very important war. Uh, I'm gonna pop down here, because I know there's a trainer. I think he just has an Onyx, though. So let's get Tech out of there. We'll just use Rupert for this. Ba -da 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 -ba. Oh, he has more than one Pokemon. Ah, uh, use Dig. This is kind of, uh, it's kind of like you can hit a Pokemon with Gust if they're flying, but if a Pokemon uses Dig, obviously Earthquake still hits it, which is cool. Cool little detail. Love cool little details. You've probably heard me say that plenty of times. In this and the Yellow playthrough, honestly. There we go, that'll do. You, I think you're right as well, Tech. Um, when you hit a Digging Pokemon, with Earthquake, it will do extra damage. That is absolutely correct. See? You do know what you're talking about. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> it's fine, Brody. I was just kidding. <laughs> uh, um, but, uh, let's see. Let's fight this lass here. Is she a lass or a picnicker? Ah, she's a picnicker. I'm a fool. Ah, uh, but I have the right uh, Pokemon out front. I feel like the Hoppip line, that is a Pokemon that I maybe would have considered using. I really like the Hoppip line. And how do we miss Fly? I mean, how do you do that? Um, I think the Hoppip line is very underappreciated overall. I think it's super cute. It's just super delightful. Um, it actually has some really good utility because it can learn Sleep Powder, which is really good, and Leech Seed, which is also really good, especially if you're doing a playthrough yourself. Um, very, very good kind of stall setter Pokemon. Also very fast. And that is my, uh, TED Talk on Jumpla. <laughs> but no flying moves. Tech, tech comes in and informs me why it's not good. Uh, no, you're right. It would be way better if it had access to flying moves because it is a grass and flying type. Um, so here, there's that Pokemon Center leading to Rock Tunnel. Um, we're probably not going to go into Rock Tunnel. I believe this is where you catch Electabuzz in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but the Power Plant is right back where it used to be, Kanto Power Plant. But... As we see here, it's not run down anymore. It is up and running. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I know what you're saying, Brody. <laughs> so, if we pop over here and visit our fella, I, I'm, I'm ready to blast someone. Who would dare ruin my generator? I spent so much time on it. If I catch him, he's gonna get a taste of my zap cannon. Ooh, interesting. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jump Pluff is still great. But no, you are right. If it got, like, even just, like, Gust, that would be nice. Um, so after you talk to the manager guy, you get word of a shady character in Cerulean City. Hmm. And he goes, can I ask for your cooperation? And I'm like, what's that supposed to be, man? You're the police officer or the security guard. I'm a child that walked in here. Do you want me to solve the crime for you? I guess I will. Um, <laughs> all the Hoppets don't dare disrespect Hoppet. <laughs> and we don't. We we are a lover of we are a lover of Hoppet in in this uh, in this weird little family. Um. All right. So that guy that's loitering around, we may or may not find him right in here. 
Oops, I'm so sorry. This guy is so interesting. He is one of, like, my favorite characters, like, in all of Pokemon, honestly. Um, I love him. I'm so sorry. You not hurt, okay? I very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by somebody. Oh no, you seen me already. I make big mistake. Hey you, forget you see me, okay? You see, hear, know nothing, okay? Bye kid, nothing. Bye bye, a go go. So, uh, so yeah, this uh, Team Rocket member is. I mean, I don't wanna say not from America. He is just clearly from a different uh, fictional Pokemon country. <laughs> and his English is broken. Um, I know. <laughs> that guy sprinted at me and I was just like, doom. Uh, let's see. So here is where the machine part is hidden. Um, this would be really hard to find if you didn't know where it was. Um, but I think he does say that he hides the machine part in the gym, so you could look around like that. But it's just hidden right in that top left corner, and the only reason I know that is because I have played this game many, many, and I mean many, times before. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot I had to repel. So, when this guy runs off, he runs off up here to what was formerly the Nugget Bridge. Um, and his team is nothing to speak of. Uh, there's not really anything crazy going on here. So this is just like, kind of like a nice little episode. So, hey kid, me am a Team Rocket member kind of guy. <laughs> Come from another country. A trainer, number one. Me! Think I did? If stop the energy, be big panic for here people. Secret it is, my mission. So tell you I not. But uh, if when you do versus me, a man I be and mine secret to you I tell. Hey kid, battle begin. We do. So, this guy is so interesting. Because he is kind of just like the last gasp. <laughs> yes, I completely understand. He is just kind of like the last gasp of Team Rocket that we're going to see in this game. Because as we know, we have already defeated them. They have already disbanded. Um, but that was over in Johto. This guy is on this secret mission in Kanto. And uh, you're going to see, he actually has like a really nice kind of like uh, human, human moment. Um, and we'll see here. I no, 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 I believe it. <laughs> believe it, I can't. Strong very much be you, match I am not to you. So, again, it's kind of sad. We see here. Okay, tell you mine secret will I. Machine parts steal by me, hide it I did, in gym of the Cerulean. Inside water, put it I did, look for in water center of gym at. But you forget me not. Beat you for sure will Team Rocket. Come from Johto, will they? Mine friends, yes, will revenge they are. You say what? Team Rocket, bye-bye, a go-go? Broken, it, it is, says you? Oh no! Should I do what now on from me? And then he disappears. It's so sad. <laughs> um, it's, it's like he doesn't know that all of his friends have, have gone away. Ugh. Oh. It really does weirdly touch me. It's a beautiful little moment. Um, but that actually reminds me of a... Oop. Um, actually, you are so right, Tech. This guy shows up in a later generation. Um, and I believe he's like an old man. And he talks the same, and it's like a really, really cool Easter egg. Um, but this actually reminds me of a story. I really wish that you could fly to the power plant. Can you? No, you can't. Um, as you can see there, we could only fly to the towns that we have been to. Um, once we finish this quest, we're going to open up a lot of um, gyms in Kanto. And honestly, next stream, we'll probably like really hit them. And it's going to be awesome. <laughs> no, walk, walk, or go, go. Nice one, dude. Um, oh, but what I was saying... Any history people that ever happen to watch this in their life, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe there was a guy, I think he was a Japanese soldier, and he um, 
was on a secret, like, undercover mission in, like, the deep bush, like, in, on one of the islands out there in the Pacific. And he was so deep in it, and he knew he could never blow his cover, that he was not aware that the war was over for, like, years after the war ended. Um, I, I only vaguely remember the story, but it's, like, crazy. Um, because he was just in this super secluded area just going about his mission. He was just doing his thing. He had no idea that the war was over. So, ah, yes, that's the missing part from my beloved generator. You found it? Wah, thanks. Here, take this TM as a reward. This is a really good TM. It is for the move Zap Cannon. Um, and he says, It's a powerful technique. It's not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wallop. Uh, Zap Cannon is a lot like Dynamic Punch. It's not its not accurate, um, but how Dynamic Punch is powerful and causes confusion, um, Zap Cannon is similar in that it's powerful and it always causes paralysis. It's a really cool move. Um, it's something that we might teach later um, if, we, uh, if we need to. Oh, goes to show how war can ruin lives. That is very true. Um, let's see. Okay, so, um, I am going to fly back to Cerulean City. Um, and as we go here, there's going to be a lot more trainers we can clear out, um, and a lot more, uh, ba -ba -ba -da, get Margo back out, and a lot more gym leaders for us to fight. Um, but with that, folks, I think that's going to put us at a really good stopping point. I'm glad we were able to solve the energy crisis tonight. Um, and next time we will really start getting into more of these Kanto gym leaders, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> Bye, Bell Sprout. Good to see you, dude. Um, but, uh, I can't wait to play more with you guys. Um, I caught myself getting really excited for the next game that we're gonna play um not just pokemon but otherwise and oh thanks loctess um and it has just it's made me very excited lately um and yes we're gonna crush those gym leaders <laughs> bye bye butterfree uh it doesn't matter if you're on youtube like and subscribe thank you for watching this i just love video games anyway peace out kiddos